Today, we've got some exciting news from Rivian that's sure to pique your interest. In a surprising move, Rivian has unveiled not just one, but two new models, the R3 and R3X. Stick around as we break down the details on these entry-level electric vehicles that promise a perfect blend of affordability and an impressive 300-plus mile range. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Real Channel Automotive, your go-to source for the latest updates in the world of cars. Let's dive into the details. First up, we've got the R3, a quirky-looking ride that's a bit challenging to define, but in a good way. With a shorter wheelbase and tighter dimensions compared to its sibling, the R2, this hatchback caught us off guard. The Rivian CEO describes it as having a wheelbase of 110.2 inches, making it slightly shorter than the R2 and about the size of a Cadillac XT4. The R3 rocks a familiar front fascia, a compact frunk, plastic body cladding, and a sleek angular liftgate with an independently opening glass section. And let's not forget the flush-mounted door handles and blacked-out accents, giving it a modern and distinctive look. Inside, the R3 surprises us with a minimalist cabin equipped with a digital instrument cluster and a widescreen infotainment system. The panoramic glass roof adds a touch of luxury, and CEO Scarenge mentioned two glove boxes and fold-flat front and second-row seats perfect for indoor camping adventures. Now, for those craving a bit more performance, Rivian introduces the R3X. It promises a go-kart feel with modified bumpers, unique wheels, and reddish-orange accents. Inside, you'll find distinctive seats, a center-striped steering wheel, two-tone contrast stitching, and matching metallic accents. Rivian keeps us on our toes regarding specifications, but here's what we know. The R3 will come with two battery pack options, with the larger one offering a range exceeding 300 miles. The lineup will feature single, dual, and tri-motor powertrains, with the tri-motor setup boasting a mind-blowing 0 to 60 miles per hour time of less than 3 seconds. When it comes to charging, the R3 lineup supports the North American charging standard and offers CCS charging via an adapter. Though Rivian kept details under wraps, they claim a yet-to-be-disclosed DC fast charger will juice up the model from 10% to 80% in less than 30 minutes. Like its older sibling, the R2, the R3, and the R3X will ride on an all-new mid-size vehicle platform. This tech marvel incorporates high-pressure die castings, a structural battery unit, and closure systems that simplify complexity. And get this, enhanced autonomous capabilities are on the horizon, thanks to a new perception stack with 11 cameras, 5 radar sensors, and a more powerful computing platform. Now, we can't spill all the beans on pricing just yet, but Rivian assures us that the R3 and R3X will hit the market after the R2, and they'll be more budget-friendly. While the R2 is set to roll out in the first half of 2026 at around $45,000, these newcomers will be even easier on the wallet. Stay tuned for updates on global availability. And there you have it, folks. If you're as excited about the Rivian R3 and R3X as we are, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more automotive updates. Thanks for joining us today, and we'll catch you in the next one. Drive safe! So you didn't expect that one more thing here. <laughs> so R3 is, we're so excited about what this sort of delivers beyond what we see in R2. It's, it takes the package of R2 and the platform, it shrinks it, it puts it into our take on what is a crossover. 
Um, and it's a vehicle that's almost hard to define what it is, but it so beautifully captures our brand. It captures what we represent as a company. Uh, it's dynamically incredible. The shorter wheelbase, the tighter dimensions, uh, really enable it to be something that's you know, maneuverable and drivable. But as tidy as it is on dimensions on the outside, we've put so much effort into making sure that the inside feels big. And uh, much like we saw on, on R2, uh, there's a lot of work that went into everything that you see in the rear of the vehicle, the, the occupant areas in the front of the vehicle. But this is all enabled by the platform. And it's about five inches shorter, 135 millimeters shorter than what you see in R2 in terms of wheelbase but leveraging all that same content. So the single motor, the dual motor, and a tri-motor, the beautiful battery pack built around a, a larger format cell, our network architecture, uh, really excited about that. Oh, hello. Um, so up front, we have a front storage trunk, much like what we had in R2. And that storage area of the vehicle, uh, you can use to throw all your gear, your bags, and something like this, wonderful for, for that everyday urban usability, uh, adventure usability. But I want to spend some time in the back. And we spent so much time as a team thinking about working on how do we create a unique closure experience in the back. And what you just saw happen is the rear lift gate came up. Um, just like we saw in R2, the first and the second row seats fold flat. Uh, so it creates a, an opportunity for in-car camping, or it creates an opportunity to carry your long gear. Uh, but when we close this, there's a second way to get to the back, which we call our flipper glass. And what I love about this is it makes it easy to get things in and out, but this actuation can actually go to multiple heights. So if you're carrying something that's longer, that could be a surfboard, it could be stuffed animals, it could be a trombone. Um, you can adjust the height here, and it's a, it's a user setting to make it really easy to carry those bigger objects or bigger things around. And you know, as I said, everything in, as we thought about this vehicle was around making a, a smaller car, car feel really big. Now, looking at the interior, a lot of what we saw on the, um, you know, on the R2 carries over here. So the use of materials, the way we think about the sustainability of those materials, how durable they are, uh, and, and really embodying that Rivian feel is, is driven into this. And I wish you could all sit in the car right now. But it, um, same thing we, we had with our two with the control wheels and the steering wheel. Lots of flexibility in terms of storage. Two glove boxes. Um, <laughs> and of course, we still have a flashlight here. Now, we talked about platform flexibility. Hopefully, you're seeing that here between R2 and R3, uh, the ability for these, these two vehicles with really common family genes. You can feel their siblings. They look like the Rivians. They feel like the Rivians. Unfortunately, you can't all drive them to say they drive like the Rivians, but I can guarantee you they do. Um, but there's one more thing. <laughs> one more thing. And looking at R R3, we wanted to take everything that's embodied and put it into an even higher performance package. And this is something we call R3X. I mean, I, this is just so cool. Um, <laughs> this, is, this is the vehicle, when we walk around in the studio, everybody sees it and they're like, oh, I want that so bad. Um, and I, I think you know, that happens for anybody that sees it. But this captures, as you can see, R3, but pulls a level of like, deep, deep performance capability into it. And there's lots of subtle differences. It's a wider wheel and tire, a little wider stance, more ground clearance, 
tri-motor setup um, and a focus on really taking the, the capabilities of, of what Rivian represents and, and really flexing that and really showing that and in a small car, small, smaller crossover, uh, delivering a level of on and off-road performance that, um, that will get us all very excited. Um, and what you can't see, and I want to show, is the interior on the vehicle is just beautifully laid out. Uh, we, we had a chance to really stretch ourselves. Uh, this is an interior combination we internally call rugged playful because it looks rugged and it looks playful. Uh, but the use of materials and the use of how we laid out those materials with cork and with interesting weaves and interesting ways to anodize metal, uh, it feels so uniquely Rivian, but also so unique to this vehicle and, and to the performance variant. Now, <clears throat> as we think about this portfolio of vehicles, R2, R3, R3X, uh, I can see from the room, everyone is excited. We are, we are so excited. These, and, These, these represent our future. These represent what we've been building to, the, the brand that we established with the R1 products and, and positioning Rivian to take that further and make that more accessible to more people. And we've been working hard to find ways to pull the timing on these programs forward, to get them to as many people as possible as quickly as possible. And with that, I'm excited to, to, to say that we're gonna be pulling the timing in to allow R2 to start deliveries in the first half of 2026. And, and, we're, and we're able to do that, we're able to achieve that, that accelerated timing by leveraging our production capabilities in normal. Yeah. Using, using, using our Illinois site to launch R2 and get that into market as quickly as we can. Now, our Georgia site remains really important to us. It's core to the scaling across all these vehicles between R2, R3, R3X, and we're so appreciative of all the partnership we've had there. But being able to leverage the team, the skill, the passion we have in our Illinois facility to get that into the market, to get that to customers, some of those orders I heard over there, as quickly as possible, we are, we are just ecstatic about. Now, hopefully you see, when we look at our products, when we look at R2, when we look at R3, when we look at R, at R3X, every decision, as I said, ties to making sure these vehicles enable and inspire the kinds of things we want to take photographs of the kinds of things we want to remember 20 years from now, 30 years from now. And so we've also developed a set of accessories that sit on these products. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That, that link to making and building those memories. So we have a tent that's so beautifully integrated that goes onto the top of R2 or R3. Uh, we have bike racks that make the use of bikes really easy. We want all of our vehicles to be the easiest vehicle to go biking with. Um, and we have a really clever way to think about a kitchen and rear storage plugging into our storage ports in the back of the vehicle. But ultimately, we as a company, we as Rivian, we exist to not only help transition a world away from combustion fuels and into electrification, we exist to help generate amazing memories in the process of doing so. Thank you everyone so much for joining us today to hear about our future.